Hello everyone. Hope all of you are doing fine and safe. I am Dr. Vijayapati. I am the Chief Medical Advisor in the Palito Nutri Care. As many of you know, low carbohydrate diet commonly known as paleo or keto diet is becoming popular and people across the world have started following LCHF diet for various health benefit it offers. How is LCHF diet different from the normal or regular diet that we follow? A typical Indian diet consists of 70 to 80 percent carbohydrate, about 10 to 15 percent protein and 5 to 10 percent fat. But in low carb diet, we reduce the intake of carbohydrate to about 5 percent of the total intake and recommend adequate protein and increase in the consumption of good quality fat. This change in the composition of macronutrients, especially increase in protein if needed, has created a lot of fear and doubt in the minds of public and even among some doctors. Because the belief is that when we consume more protein, our kidneys have to work extra. This fear has been amplified by some unauthenticated news items in the print and the social media. Few months back, I saw the news item on the social media and in the newspapers that Hindi film celebrity Mishti Mugarji had tried the keto diet and ended up in renal failure and died. We do not know about the medical history of the person and it is not right to comment about what exactly happened. However, the relevant questions related to the diet, especially the amount of protein, can be answered. To understand the concept right, I will answer two relevant questions about protein intake in the low carb diet like paleo and keto and its impact on the kidney function in this video. The questions are 1. Are you required to consume high amount of protein in the low carb diet? 2. Will your kidneys be affected when you take lot of protein? Let's take the first question. Is high protein recommended in the low carbohydrate diet? The answer is very simple. No. The paleo or keto diet that is the LCHF diet that is low in carbohydrate and high in fat. That is something everyone understands precisely. LCHF diet concerns about uh, the two major macronutrients, carbohydrate and fat in the diet and altering the ratios of these two. It says nothing about the change in the amount of proteins. It is proven beyond doubt that too much of carbohydrate in the diet causes the body to secrete excess insulin and over time leads to insulin resistance which causes obesity and other lifestyle diseases like diabetes, hypertension and many other illnesses. So the diet pattern we recommend in LCHF diet is to eat food which has low carbohydrate and high in fat with adequate quality protein. Normally, the recommended amount of protein for a human being is 1 gram per kg of the body weight per day. Adolescent and pregnant women can take 1.2 grams of protein per kg body weight per day and the bodybuilders and weightlifters can consume up to 2 grams of protein per kg. This means that if a person weighs 70 kg, he needs 70 grams of protein daily. In our diet monitoring program, we do not recommend protein more than the required amount. In fact, we make sure that you consume the right quantity required. So there is no question about excess protein intake in a paleo diet. If the diet we consume is protein deficient, many enzymes that help in nutrient absorptions are not formed properly and there will be muscle wasting. And you know pretty well that protein is very important for the skin, hair and other important functions. So it is not right to take either too little or too much of protein. Next, we will look into the second question. Low carb diet like paleo and keto leading to kidney failure. Is it true? No study has shown that prolonged high protein intake causes kidney failure. The major causes of kidney failure are uncontrolled diabetes and high blood pressure. We know that a large number of patients are already in the hospital due to kidney failure. Most recurring in dialysis, a blood purification process that is widely used twice or thrice a week. If we inquire about what is the eating habit, they are all the same. They ate the traditional idli, dosa, puri, pongal, vada, bonda, bhaji that we all eat. 
probably none of them are even familiar with the concept of low carbohydrate diet. Various researches have been conducted in the western country to assess the impact of LCHF diet on the kidneys and they have clearly concluded that LCHF diet doesn't affect kidney. In, fi in fact, one research shows that for early stage of renal disease, the low carb diet actually improves the kidney function. The research shows that by reducing excess body weight by following a low carb diet helps improving the kidney function. A two year study of people in keto diet also has shown that there has not been any negative effect on kidney function because of the diet. I have attached the references for all the researches in the description box given below. In fact, we need a certain amount of protein even if the kidneys are affected. At Palito Nutri Care, we insist for a complete blood test, especially urea, creatine, uric acid, and when necessary, even an ultrasound abdomen scan before preparing a dietary protocol. We assess if there are any kind of kidney disease or kidney stone formation and accordingly recommend protein content in the diet. If uric acid or creatinine are high, then we recommend our client to avoid meat, fish, mushroom, a kind of food and reduce the amount of protein appropriately. So we can confidently say that in a well-structured low-carb diet like what we offer as a 100-day diet monitoring program, you are advised to take only adequate quantity of good quality protein for your health and also that your kidneys are absolutely safe. But I will strongly recommend that you should follow a low-carb diet like paleo and keto only under a professionally qualified dietitian or a nutritionist and after a blood test review by a doctor as the diet has to suit each individual requirement. Many people, when they follow such diet on their own without proper understanding or guidance from the professionals, they end up following it wrongly, leading to many health problems. Especially when they consume more fat along with more carbohydrate, it is a real health hazard. And then they blame it on the low-carb uh, keto diet. So come to us. Switch to properly advised low carb diet and reap all the health benefits. If you have any query on this, uh, please contact us. Thank you very much.